What is up guys, Jack 54 hd here, and welcome to this live commentary of mine. Um, I never really ever do these, so you know, apologies if it's going to be the worst video you will ever watch. But um, I decided to do one, I've got a few things to clear up, um, and just a few things that I want to say. And hopefully a few, you know, special topics, you know, that you guys will enjoy. Um, I've got a few words to say about the Purple Nazri that did get released, and uh, hopefully give you a nice little review. Um, so you can determine whether you want to buy him or not. So, um, I think we're going to play against this guy, yeah. I th well, his, his team name's Pep. I don't know if his team's going to be good, we'll see here. Uh, but he's got a pretty, you know, bad squad, I'm not going to lie. Uh, mainly focused around the Liga BBVA. In fact, it is all fully focused around the Liga BBVA, apart from the bronze player. Um, but, yeah, I just want to, I think I'm going to do a few topics on this um, video. There will be... A YouTube little topic, um, Twitter, Nazri, uh, Purple Nazri view, and also I'll probably do a bit of you know information about the Euros and what my thoughts are on it so far, along with England and stuff like that. And um, apologies if I don't talk for you know like a couple of seconds of you know between I'm speaking because it, it is kind of hard to um, you know play FIFA and talk your mind at the same time. So apologies for that, but. Um, yeah, my first thoughts uh, have got to, well, I'll start with my Twitter little rant here. Um, so basically, whenever I troll on Twitter, um, please don't take it seriously because it is very annoying when I see, you know, well, it's not really annoying, it's just like kind of annoying because I could prevent it. Um, but basically, whatever I say on Twitter, please don't take it seriously at all. Um, you know, I think a lot of people that follow me on Twitter will realise that I have a lot of banter with Nepenthes, Calfrizi, um, a few other YouTubers as well, you know, Fluda and stuff like that. And all of it is just, you know, trolling. It none of it is real. Um, you know, I'm sure if you ask them as well, um, apart from Nepenthes, because he'll probably troll as well. Um, you know, I'm sure if you ask them, you know, they'll be like, oh yeah, it's just a joke as well. Um, so hopefully you guys will, you know, understand that and, you know, just stop thinking that I'm being serious with them tweets because. You know, when I was when I was trolling with uh, Nepenthes and Calfrizi, you should have seen my mentions on Twitter. Um, it was unreal the amount of hate that I was getting. You know, I was getting called, you know, the C word. I was getting bloody. It was the most swear words I've ever probably been called. So, you know, just um, don't take it seriously because you know it is kind of unfair on me when people. Well, it's not really unfair on me because I, you know, obviously need to be a bit more clear with my actions and actually say to people yeah this is a troll but then again that does take the fun out of it because people do think you're actually being serious um and it is kind of funny but um it's not funny when it does you know take away people's views on your videos and you know start disliking them because um you know a lot of effort goes into videos on youtube and it is kind of annoying to see the dislikes go up just because you've said you know a little troll thing about another youtuber um and they know it's a joke as well so um that is just the first thing. Um, like I said, don't take any of my tweets on Twitter seriously unless unless they're positive. Um, any negative tweets, don't take seriously un unless I say, yeah, I'm being serious. Um, this has pissed me off or whatever. Uh, then I will, you know, just, I'll, I'll say that. And that is a wonderful goal by Nazri. He is actually brilliant, by the way, but I will get onto him um, and later in the video. But yeah, hopefully that's cleared up some stuff um, about Twitter. If you want to go follow me, um, it is the same as my YouTube, Jack54HD. The link to that will be in the description as well, so um, feel free to click the link and click the follow button. Um, so moving on now to YouTube. Um, I honestly did uh, get a f quite a few more dislikes than usual on my video um, from yesterday, and I kind of can see where the people were coming from when they're disliking it. Um, you know, there's a story behind why I think people were disliking it, and... Um, stuff like that so I'm gonna just go into a little bit about that and that is offside um, but <clears throat> first of all the title um, it said best silver hybrid ever or something like that or best silver hybrid um, and I'm not gonna lie um, when I was rendering the video I did purposely call it that but when I was gonna upload the video I wasn't gonna call it that um, I sort of realized between the time that I was rendering the video and the time that I was uploading the video that people would just hate and you know I was right obviously from the amount of dislikes that got produced but um, you know I sort of realised that people were going to hate because I've called it the best silver hybrid ev ever and a lot of people probably just won't won't agree um, so I was going to call it beast you know 
beast hybrid silver um well beast silver hybrid and you know that would have cleared things up but i actually had to go out pretty much well i wasn't home um the moment the video went live so i couldn't actually change it that was for the reason why there was no description and tags as well because i just i wasn't in at the time um i could have done them before but i was in such a rush to get out of the house and to meet my mate so i'm really sorry about that um so hopefully that has cleared stuff up i'm not trying to you know be a money whore or anything by putting the best um card in the title and that you know that just shows Thierry Henry's class uh, he is an amazing player but um yeah just hopefully that clears up some stuff about yesterday's video um there's a few other comments as well that I just want to address um to you guys quickly and hopefully you guys will understand um but there was a comment saying oh you know you put best in the t in the title you're a money whore and stuff like that and um you know it got like 30 thumbs up and I don't know it kind of annoyed me because I've done videos in the past, um, you know, saying how, you know, people are, you know, doing easy YouTube videos that, you know, take like a matter of seconds to make um, to, you know, better off themselves with a bit of YouTube money. Um, and, you know, honestly, I'm not like that. I just, you know, I, I do this for fun. I've always done this for fun. I don't intend on making a, a crap load of cash from this YouTube. You know, if it comes, then, you know, so be it. Um, I have worked, you know, bloody hard to get where I am today. So, you know, if I'm gonna get some money uh, for doing this YouTube thing, then so be it. I'm not gonna, you know, you know, sort of not take it um, if you put it that way. But you know, I'm not gonna try try and you know change the title of a video or put a thumbnail that is gonna deter myself um, a bit more YouTube money. So um, you know, hopefully that clears it up because you know I think people, well, that comment kind of made me look like a twat because you know they generally thought I I, I meant to put best in the title. Um, when I should have just you know called it something else, but sadly, I didn't have the time to do that. So, um, moving on now uh, to I think it was a, another comment saying that they're kind of getting bored of the hybrid squad builders and stuff like that. And honestly, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, I've been doing these for quite a while now, and before I started to do them every day, um, I did them like every two weeks or something like that, and you know got a load of gameplay footage to watch and um and stuff like that and you know them them ones were the ones which got like you know a lot more likes than they were getting now actually in fact they are getting you know just the same amount of likes actually maybe in fact more but most of the time um you know they get really good feedback and i don't know what it was i think maybe yesterday's was just a bad episode or something and people just didn't like it at all um you know or something like that but I don't know just put it in the comment section do you want me to carry on the hybrid squad builder series um do you want me to you know carry on doing them because in all honesty I in all honesty I do really enjoy doing them and that was quite a nice goal I had quite a few skill goals in well skill runs in it um but in all honesty yeah I really really do enjoy doing the hybrid squad builder it is probably my most favorite video to do um so you know I don't know if you guys want to see it I will carry on doing more um, but if not, then so be it, and I will try and start a new series. But don't just say, "Oh, the hybrid squad builders are crap," and you know, just do a new series. Give me some feedback. Do you want me to, you know, give me a suggestion on what other series you'd like, you'd personally like to see? Um, give me some feedback if if you can't think of a series on how I could make the the hybrid squad builders better and stuff like that. And you know, just just give me a bit of feedback. That is, you know, what the comment section is for. Um, so you know it'd be good to see you guys give me that feedback and uh you know hopefully it will help me and that was a kind of nice goal and I, i'm i'm scared this guy's gonna rage quit now because i don't want to end this video early but um yeah that's gonna be it for youtube thing uh just that, that's just a little rant hopefully clearing a few things up as well i'm not trying to you know stop dislikes coming onto my videos because i know it'll always happen um and you know not everyone's going to be satisfied with the video that you do but um yeah another thing that i was going to say uh, I was going to talk about the Euros. Um, actually, no, there's one th more thing that I want to talk about um, with YouTube as well. Um, going back to the money whoring, you know, sort of th fact of it, um, the comment did actually say, like, oh, but this video took you like 10 minutes to make and you uploaded it um, within like, you know, 20 minutes or something like that. So that is not the case. Um, them comments really, really do piss me off, piss me off because. It just isn't true. Um, I probably spend around four to five hours a day making a, a YouTube video for my channel, um, and that is, you know, a lot of my time. I could be going out doing other stuff, um, you know, meeting up with my mates. But 
you know I do enjoy doing YouTube um, it doesn't you know revolve around my life but it certainly does take up a big chunk of my time so you know YouTube videos probably like I said a day five hours a day um, that is you know there's no question about it, it takes that time rendering uploading um, editing takes about two hours getting the goals uh, getting the gameplay obviously obviously takes around two hours because you have to play like eight games or ten games or something like that um, then you've got the uh, like uploading you know that that's like 20 25 minutes 30 minutes in itself and then you've got actually building the hybrid now that can take you know like an hour to two hours to three hours depending on how hard it is um, to build the hybrid and fit through the players because there's been many a times in my hybrid squad builders where I've built the team and there's just been one player with seven chemistry um, and I don't don't like uploading one where you know not all players have have nine chemistry so you know there is a few things that take you know can make it extra time consuming uh, but most of the time that is okay and you know I just get on with it and you know learn from my mistakes but um, yeah I just thought I'd clear that up you know YouTube takes a lot of time and I think you know people underestimate it a lot um, because you know I don't know I think people think these videos take like seconds to make when they really don't you know there's a lot of effort um, you know blood sweat and tears that goes into these videos I guess you could say so um, yeah I just thought I'd clear that up and I will be talking about the Euros now so we are winning 5-0 which is kind of impressive seeing as my record is an absolute shambles um, my nan could probably do better but um, yeah moving <laughs> on to the Euros topic and uh, you know I just think from a lot of feedback from what I've seen uh, on Twitter and stuff like that um, it's good to see that England you know people aren't really expecting England to do that well um, but I think that the problem is here with people thinking that the more England do better the more people are going to expect from England um, to do well in the Euros and I don't think that should be the case um, you know <coughs> put it this way Roy Hodgson's had like a month if that to sort of get together the, the squad um, you know build a bit of chemistry to, between the players improve on the young players ability give them a bit of experience in game um, and stuff like that and I, I don't know I, just, I think if we do keep winning games and you know win against big teams people are going to go out and be like oh we can you know we can win against any team and you know sadly you know that is obviously that is the case um, not sadly that is the case but that is the case if we can beat France if we can get a draw against France in my opinion we can we can beat Spain we can beat Germany we can beat you know Italy um, but I just think we shouldn't get too ahead of ourselves just because we've won one game against you know a top team doesn't mean we can go and win a, a, a game against you know another top team um, because obviously different teams play different you know ways and it's just like it's like the Premier League if Wolves win against United um, it doesn't mean they're going to win against Chelsea Liverpool United um, so Arsenal you know teams like that so I just think we need to sort of have a bit of a reality check um, when we do well hopefully start winning games and you know against the bigger bigger teams especially um, but moving on to you know just other teams now in the Euros and I think there's you know there's been a few teams which I think have really stood out um, Russia have been playing really well uh, I don't know what the, the score was with, was with them and Poland I think Poland might have won 2-1 um, but their first game against I, I can't even remember who it was against but they played really well um, I, th I think it was like 4-1 the first game or 4-2 uh, it was really quite an interesting match and um, you know they look pretty strong They I'm not going to lie they look like potential you know knockout stages candidates and uh, I've got to say Italy they are going to they are going to do well in this tournament I'm just going to say that now they have got a bloody good side um, and I just think they're going to be the real ones to watch. You know, De Rossi is amazing. Marquisio is amazing. Uh, the defense didn't look. You know, it, I don't know. It looked kind of a bit wobbly. Um, you know, not too. I I don't know. I think that's one thing that they could work on. Their strikers. You know, Di Natale, brilliant. You know, he's just a real workhorse up front. Um, you know, you've got Balotelli who must, did that absolutely shambles miss, uh, which was you know ridiculous. Um, you know, I don't know what is thinking that could have potentially won them the game, um, but you know that's it for Italy. I really do think they are real candidates, and I think if England come up against them, 
we have got a real, real hard game uh, to play. And I think, you know, I'm not even sure if we'd win that. So, you know, they are a really good team. Um, you know, they I, I definitely recommend, well, not recommend, I, I definitely think they could, you know, potentially win this tournament um, and, you know, bring it, bring it back to Italy. So, um, I think other team, Spain, uh, they've done pretty well. Well, they drew against Italy. Um, so, you know, I don't know. About with Spain, I think I don't know. They are a bit. I don't know. It's hard to call. Um, you would have thought they would have beaten Italy, and I don't know how the keeper hasn't you know saved that at all. But you would have thought they would have beaten Italy. Um, on paper, they're the best team in the in the competition. Uh, you know, they've got the likes of Iniesta, Xavi, PK, Ramos, Casillas. Uh, you know, you've, you've got Torres in there, you've got Fabregas, you know, real world-class players. Um, and, you know, I don't know, I, I don't think they're going to do well in this tournament. Um, it has to be said, and I think another, can I think it, I think we could be seeing like a, a Germany or, I, I put it this way, I definitely think Italy are going to be in the final. Um, I think it could be a, a Germany or Netherlands that are going to be facing them as well. I think England will get to like the quarters or maybe even the semis if they do get to the final then it'd be absolutely amazing but i think that is kind of far reach um out of our game and um that is going to go in again so 8-1 now uh but yeah that is sort of my thoughts on the euro so far um, i'm just going to talk a little bit about nazri now the purple card that i did buy um earlier tonight and i've played like i think i've played like eight games with him or so um this will probably be my eighth game and i think he scored like every game I'm, I'm pretty sure and you know he is definitely a player that I think is going to maybe rise I'm not too sure I know he's hated by the English um, for scoring but you know you, you, you've got a you know this is a game um, <coughs> whether you like a player or not shouldn't determine when you whether you buy him or not um, in my opinion it's, it's about the player um, and how good they are on the game really you know like I, di I didn't know I didn't know El Sharaway before this game um, but he's been in almost every squad that I've made, and you know I don't know I don't know it just it just shows that whether you know a player, whether you like a player, you know it shouldn't sort of influence whether you buy them in the game. But you know, that's completely off topic. What I was going to be talking about, but um, yeah, overall Nasri, uh, he is really really good. He's at a he's in a right wing position um, because he played there against uh, I think it was yeah. England, well, yeah, I don't know what I was talking about there. Yeah, he, he played against England there. Uh, I think he did move to a sort of more centre attack mid role um, during the end of the game. But in my opinion, I actually prefer him at right wing. Um, he hasn't got the most pace in the world. He has got you know a, a decent amount of pace, like eighty seven or something like that. But for the most part, you know, he's not like the the real pacey wingers. He's not like the you know Valencia's, not like the Walcotts, Youngs, um, and stuff like that, or you know Oxley Chamberlain. Or, or players like that but he's definitely a player which is you know one that's going to be able to wiggle out of players you know play in between players pass the ball nice little one twos nice dribbling and stuff like that and you know I, de I definitely recommend recommend buying him he cost me 300k which in my opinion is you know a bargain for you know his ability and stuff like that um and you know just just personally reckon recommend if you do have the coins go out and buy him um he could even rise to be in, in in fact and you know especially as he is the only purple Barclays Premier League player so far um he's 87 rated and you know just got outstanding stats so I think he could rise like I said um don't hold me to that because what happened with Marlis wasn't cool um and uh you know people still to this day have a go at me about that but yeah that is going to be it guys um the game is drawing to a close I think um, so if you do, you know, like these videos, then please do hit the like button. Um, it'd be interesting because I could make this sort of like a regular series on my channel and that would have been an absolute class header. Um, but yeah, I could make this like a, a good series on my channel. Um, you know, I don't want to be seen as sort of copying the Nepenthes in, in any way because he's really made a, a real mark on his channel with them live commentaries. But if you have enjoyed it, guys, please do hit the like button. Um, give me your thoughts on any topics. Um, that I have commented on in this video, uh, you know, the YouTube, Twitter, Euros, uh, Nasri, um, just whatever, give me some feedback, um, some
constructive criticism as well be you know more than welcomed um so thanks for watching guys please do hit the like button if you do want to see more um and peace